All right, for the people that have been having problems with Minix and the port forwarding that the prof did, uh, because he did it on Mac OS or Linux, um, the problem is if you're trying to do it on Windows, Windows is going to be like, let's try it here, uh, VBox, well, come on, really, manage, is like, what the hell is VBox? Uh, you have to define it in the path, but to avoid that, you can easily do it through VirtualBox uh, GUI. No no problem just go to devices network network settings in the network settings you just make sure this is NAT there's another way of doing it uh, by setting it as a bridge network that means that the virtual machine will get the same IP address not the same an IP address on the same subnet as a host machine which is in this case Windows uh, but for now it's okay just keep it at NAT go to advanced port forwarding basically if you ever port forward a port before, um, this is the same thing essentially. Um, the name, the name could be whatever. Protocol is TCP because it's SSH, um, and then the IP host IP means the local ho machine. So the the host machine, which in this case Windows, one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one, or local host is the default IP. So just make sure that is the same. In the host port. Uh, just put it as 2222 you can put it as whatever you want but for sake of example just put it like this the guest IP um, to make sure what the guest IP is because it could be different um, login into your Minix uh, I'll, I'll show you how to set a password in a second um, and type in I have config it'll show you here what the IP is 10.0.2.15 10 usually means that it's a local network, um, usually used by businesses and such. Anyways, uh, advanced port forwarding and make sure it's the same IP. And the guest port is 2.2, uh, which is SSH default port. You can change that if you'd like, but for now it's fine. Uh, press OK, press OK, and reset your machine just to be sure 100%. Now, if you want to set a password for root, as you can see now I have a password here, because you will need a password for SSH unless you disable it. Um, what you have to do is just type in pass wd, the new password, for example, I don't know, baby ducks. Um, it'll tell you no lowercase, but that's fine, don't worry about it, it's a local machine. Uh, baby ducks, baby ducks, and that's it. Now, if I want to log in, Come on, root baby ducks, and it works fine. Now, on your host machine, in this case Windows, open up command prompt. If you don't know how to do that, just type in cmd and it opens up. Now, here um, you have to set up your Linux subsystem. If you don't know how, just Google it. It's it's, it's a two step process, it's not that hard. Um, if that doesn't work, make sure you have, for example, putty or anything like that that you can connect to an SSH server on. Um, but for now, um, assume that you do have this because you did uh, 2404, which you would need this anyways. Um, anyways, so type in bash, it'll get you into the Linux subsystem. In the Linux subsystem, just you can literally just copy what the prof said here. Um, and that's it, that should be fine. And now it tells you what the password is and baby ducks. And we're in, like Flynn. And that's it. Um, if I don't know if I have Putty. I don't have Putty. No Cortana. Anyways, uh, but that's it like that. I will I will get Putty actually, and I will show you what to do. Uh, no, one second. I'll pause it and uh, actually, no, you just skip forward. Uh, but here it is. So just go to putty download putty free ssh client blah 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 download here windows 64 doesn't matter i mean you're not doing very extensive stuff anyways and after it finishes this just install it next make sure you know where you're installing it at next shortcut putty desktop we don't care about that right now um, it will install, it will put you offline for a little tiny bit of time because it's configuring uh, some network <coughs> adapters, sorry. And uh, go, yes, install, 
and that killed my screen. No, we're good. Okay. Um, just needed ad administrator uh, permission. And that's it. It's done. We don't need to read the readme file. Uh, but now just open it. Putty. And here we are. Uh, local host machine 27.0.0.1 and 222. And that's it. Um, just the certificate at the beginning. That's fine. Just press this yes and login as root. And the password is baby ducks. And we're in here too. Uh, if you type in users, I don't know if it works. Yeah. It's just root here and there. Um, that's it. That's all you have to do. To make sure you're online, just ping Google and it works. That's all you have to do. Have a good one. Good luck.